The next important topic is epilepsy. So what exactly is epilepsy or uh, also known as seizures? These are intense, extreme, excessive activity of the brain, just totally uncontrollable. Okay? So epilepsy or seizure is characterized by uncontrolled excessive activity of either part or all of the central nervous system. It can involve the cortex, it can involve the subcortical regions and the brains. There are three major types of epilepsy. One is grand mal epilepsy. This is what its EEG looks like. It's high in voltage, high in frequency. Then comes the better mal epilepsy. We have discussed its EEG. It's the typical spike and drone battery, which represents better mal epilepsy. And lastly, focal epilepsy. Focal mean meaning of a specific region. This is what it's EEG might look like if it is of the psychomotor type. It has further the focal epilepsy which is other types, one of which is psychomotor. Uh, it's where the EEG becomes a little tangular. So let's talk about the first type of epilepsy, which is grand mal epilepsy. Okay, this is the grand mal epilepsy. The grand mal epilepsy basically gives out tonic, clonic seizures. Okay, tonic seizures in which the tone of the muscle increases, and then clonic seizures in which the muscles actually go into spasm. But if, what exactly is going inside the brain is that there is extreme amount of neuronal discharge in all of the areas of the brain. Okay, so there is increased intense neuronal activity in all areas of the brain, whether it is the cortex, the subcortical regions, as well as the deeper structures and the brain stem. All of, the, of them fire intensely at the same time. Plus, there are simultaneous reverberatory circuits. So you can imagine a never ending electronic activity going on in the brain, which keeps on going on. Yeah, so this lasts for about three seconds to about a couple of three to four minutes, during which initially the patient has tonic seizures, in which there is increased tone of the entire body uh, muscles, and finally followed at the end by intermittent clonic spasms of the muscles. Okay, the muscles actually end up contracting. Then the body goes back into the tonic state and then clonic state. So hence we don't know what having tonic tonic seizures. After the seizures cease, and why do they cease? What is the uh, cause of the grand wall epilepsy coming to an end after a couple of minutes is due to the phenomena of fatigue. Fatigue of the muscles, or there could be a role of time between your ones as well. Okay, so person after recovery from the seizure, a seizure is highly fatigued. He may have ended up urinating or defecating. He might have tongue bites. Okay. Or uh, he gets up, goes into a phase of fatigue, depression, he can may uh, sleep for a couple of hours to heal from the job. Grand mal epilepsy basically is hereditary in nature. Most hereditary predisposition is but there might be a little chance, but there is uh, one of the cause could be traumatic injury. Then there are some precipitating factors. A person who is predisposed to having seizures, these factors can initiate an attack. The precipitating factors include emotional stimuli, strong emotional stimuli, alkalosis. And alkalosis, you've already started in sensory that decrease in uh, hydrogen ion levels or increase in pH actually increases the neuronal activity. It makes the neurons more excitable. Then again, uh, neurostimulant drugs, which increase neuron excitability, they can be a major precipitant factor. High grade fever, loud noises, flashing lights, all of these can be not stimulating or precipitating. Second type of seizure is the pattern wall epilepsy. It's made specifically the area of the brain is thought to be involved as the thalamocortical activating brain system. Again, the thalamocortical brain activating system is usually involved in the brain epilepsy. It gives us the typical spike and boom brain waves. The person might be working you know, normally and suddenly experiences particular epilepsy. He or she may experience unconsciousness or partial loss of consciousness, which stays there for a couple of seconds and the person then resumes for the task he or she was performing. Hence, this person on epilepsy is also known as absence epilepsy. Also known. Okay. Um, finally, the third type of epilepsy was the focal epilepsy. And this, uh, the area in one of the brain is localized. So there could be an organic lesion in that area, a small area of the brain is involved. 
कि या फिर तेरे को भी अ स्कार टिश्यू अ ट्यूमर दैट इज इन इन जेल ऑन द नॉन द हेल्दी पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन व्हिच लीड्स टू इट्स फायरिंग ठीक है सो दैट नॉर्मल हेल्दी एरिया ऑफ द ब्रेन ठीक है एडजसेंट टू द लीजन इट माइट स्टार्ट फायरिंग दे कुड बी रैपिड आउटवर्ड डिस्चार्ज व्हिच माइट स्प्रेड टू एडजसेंट एरियाज ऑफ द ब्रेन now one type of formal epilepsy is jacksonian epilepsy it is uh, this consists of this extreme rapid discharge from any localized region might spread to the motor cortex so when the motor cortex is involved it will lead to contraction of the muscles and these might spread along the area of the motor cortex yeah so the patient may get off and say that you know it's hence the name jacksonian epilepsy get okay? the movement might start from the upper limb region and as the uh, area of the motor cortex are covered it might descend to the lower region of the uh, body or in the opposite direction it might start from the lower limb then descend via the trunk and then to the upper limb whatever the <clears throat> direction of movement is in the brain and obviously these movements will occur on the opposite side of the body it is across the brain lastly another type of focal epilepsy is psychomotor seizures okay isme kya hoga the person experiences sudden outburst of rage and then or anxiety and he or she might not be able to remember that Okay, so this is also a form of focal epilepsy, which is known as psychomotor seizures. One important thing about the focal epilepsy is that the person can be treated if you remove a specific localized area of the brain with help to treat the patient.